There are over 40,000 different types of snails, while many people picture garden snails when they think of snails, there are a lot more than just those out there in the world. In fact, there are over 40,000 distinct species of snails. They vary in size, colors, and even location. Snails can range anywhere from less than 1 inch in size to over 15 inches in size. They can also live in many different habitats, both on dry land and in water. While the exact number is unknown, it has been said that there is at least a minimum of 43,000 in the world today. And this doesn't even include slugs. They can live in seawater, freshwater, or on land, some of the more common snails can be found on land, as well as some of the more exotic species, but there are also snails that can live in seawater and freshwater. Sea snails are composed of an exceptionally large group of snails that live in salt water and they also have several varieties within themselves. These snails can also have very colorful shells that are often disguised as a rock in the water, a perfect disguise to hide away from predators. Freshwater snails are a large group of snails that live in ponds, lakes, and rivers. Not only do they have gills, but they also have a range in sizes much like land snails. There are roughly 4,000 distinct species of freshwater snails in the world. Land snails, on the other hand, have a much larger group and tend to grow quite big as well. The giant African land snail is one of the largest snails in the world, the biggest snail in the world is a land snail. It is the giant African snail, and it can grow over 7 inches in size, with the largest specimen being measured at just over 15 inches. They have large, light to dark shells with vertical dark stripes on them. These snails are considered an invasive species, feeding off at least 500 diverse types of plants. It is also said that these snails are carriers of a parasite that is known to cause meningitis, posing a threat to both humans and other animals. The smallest snail in the world is less than 0.03 inches, the smallest snail in the world is a micromollusk. A tiny, translucent shelled snail that has been measured to reach just under 0.03 inches total in size. This snail was found in Borneo and has been named Acmela nana, which translates to dwarf in Latin. Because this snail is so incredibly small, Scientists say that they cannot be spotted out in the wild by the naked eye and must be observed under a microscope. This species was found on a limestone hill and is said to have high diversity, meaning there could be at least 500 species of this tiny snail in the world.
They are not mammals or reptiles, snails are called gastropods. Gastropods are a form of mollusk that includes snails, slugs, and whelks. It is one of the most diverse groups of organisms, home to over 40,000 distinct species. They also belong to the invertebrate class, a group of organisms that do not have a spine or skeletal system. Therefore, the shell of a snail is so important. It serves as a home, a defense mechanism, and as a form of protection for their fragile bodies. They have teeth, many teeth, while snails may have tiny mouths, they still have teeth. A lot of them. In fact, it is said that some snails have over 20,000 teeth, while the average snail can have up to or over 1,000. These teeth are practically microscopic and obviously aren't very sharp when compared to other animals, but they are used for both scraping or cutting food. Their teeth form inside a structure in their mouths called a radula, an elongated sac that grows several rows of tiny snail teeth. How cute is that? Like turtles, they retreat into their shell when a threat is nearby, because snails do not have backbones or a skeletal system, they are obviously weak to many other animals in the wild. Because of this, they also use their shell as a defense mechanism. In fact, whenever a threat is posed nearby, they often retreat inside of their shells as a source of protection, much like a turtle would in the wild. Not only is their shell used as a source of protection from predators, but it can also protect them from elevated temperatures. Most snails are hermaphrodites, there are many species in the world that can reproduce on their own and do not have genders and snails are one of them. Most are not male or female and can produce both eggs and sperm on their own, however, some snails that belong to different families can be male or female. They can reproduce when they are sexually mature and when their sexual organs acquire necessary conditions. The time varies for all snails, mostly due to their location and environments. Their shells grow with them, every snail has a shell and unlike many other shelled creatures, snails do not discard their shells and form new ones. In fact, as snails grow, their shells grow with them. Their growth begins while they are still inside of the egg and when they are born, 
they already have their shells. To make their shell strong, snails are constantly in search of calcium-rich food sources to produce a strong and sturdy shell for their fragile bodies to grow into. They participate in snail races while snails are typically slow creatures, there are still snail races that are held everywhere in the world. Snail races are used as a humorous form of entertainment, obviously because these guys don't move at a fast pace, and they are incredibly fun to watch. While it is possible for other species of snails to participate in these races, the garden snail is the most common snail used for snail races. The record holder was a snail named Archie and he won the race in two minutes time, not so slow after all.